Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. Today, we have the NFL Mock Draft for 2024. I'm going to be doing one of my own here. We're just going to get right into it. First pick, the Chicago Bears. Obviously, they're going to go Caleb Williams with the first selection. Pretty easy choice. He is the number one prospect. Obviously, there is some questions with his personality and everything, but the film speaks for itself. He is just un insane on the field. And I think he'll be great for the Bears. Next pick, we got Washington Commanders. Now, obviously, they're going to go quarterback, but it's really just about which quarterback. You've heard some talks about J.J. McCarthy going number two, Jaden Daniels, of course, and Drake May. If I were the Commanders, I'm going Drake May. Reason I'm going Drake May is his arm talent. I mean, he has fantastic arm. He can read the field pretty well, and he's able to scramble as well. Not many people know that. He's able to run out of the pocket and make plays on his feet. His stats for 2023 in college were okay. He had 12 games played, 3,608 yards, 24 touchdowns, and nine interceptions. I think this is more of a project quarterback, but I do think in the future, Drake May could be very good for the commanders. Now at pick number three, the New England Patriots will be selecting Jaden Daniels. I know some people would prefer McCarthy here, or some people think McCarthy would be taken here, but Jaden Daniels will for sure go to either New England or the commanders here at spot number three. Reason I'm taking Jaden Daniels here is that he has over 3,000 college football snaps. He has a lot of experience in college. He's able to use his legs and mobility a lot during games, so that's gonna be big for New England. As right now, their team isn't great at all, and they could trade down in this situation if the quarterback that they want is not here. But for now, we gotta go Jaden Daniels. And then the Cardinals, they have Kyler Murray. They have a decent defense. We gotta go Marvin Harrison Jr. at pick number four. Just an obvious pick there. Best receiver in the class, no doubt coming from Ohio State. The Los Angeles Chargers. This could be an interesting one. They need receiver desperately. I do understand trading down, but in this situation, you can grab Malik Neighbors. If the receiver they want is not there, like Marvin Harrison Jr., then I understand you can trade down, but they need a receiver desperately, and I think Malik Neighbors is the answer for that issue. They don't have Keenan Allen. They lost Mike Williams. They can get a good receiver, in Malik Neighbors on a cheap contract for the next four to five years. So now we got the New York Giants on the board. Obviously, they need a receiver. I just think Odunze is not the spot where the Giants should take him. So we're going to be proposing a trade, trying to trade down with the Minnesota Vikings. So the Giants traded back and got pick 11 and pick 23. If they could do this in real life, it'd be huge for them. But right now, we're picking for the Chargers, and they're going to go quarterback J.J. McCarthy. So obviously, J.J. McCarthy, there's been a lot of noise with him and a lot of talks about if he just had a good pro day, is he really a good quarterback? But I will say he had the sixth highest completion percentage in 2023 at 72.3%. He does a good job on his feet as well. I've seen some highlights of him. I think this is a good spot for the Vikings. They have a great team. They could start Sam Darnold for a year and then bring in McCarthy or start him for 10 games or something. I think this is the pick here that you need to make if you're the Vikings. The Tennessee Titans are on the clock, and I think this pick is obvious. Their offensive line unit ranked 32nd blocking for the quarterback. So we're going to be taking Joe Alt right there. He is going to be a franchise guy for them at tackle. Now moving on to the Atlanta Falcons. I believe they either go Dallas Turner or Jared Verse. I think they will go Jared Verse though. They need defense. They stacked up their offense with Kirk Cousins. They got Bijan Robinson, Kyle Pitts, Drake London. So defense, they need to bulk it up a little bit and go from there. Now the Bears have a lot of options here. They took Caleb Williams, number one, and now at number nine, they have a pick. They could go Romo Dunze here. But let me look around and see what's available. Now, honestly, I'm possibly taking Dallas Turner here or I'm taking Odunze. It's really hard for me to pick because they have a good receiving group. But yeah, I think I'm going to go. I don't know. I think I'm going to go Odunze because, you know, you have Keenan Allen, who's older, you know, DJ Moore, who's still young. But if you have Keenan Allen on a one year deal and then get rid of him after this season, you can have Odunze come up on a cheap contract for Caleb Williams. So Caleb, or Odunze it is at number nine. And now we have the New York Jets picking at pick number 10 here. It's going to be interesting to see. So the Jets are picking at number 10. If I'm them here, I'm either going offensive line or I'm trading down. I don't want anything about Brock Bowers. If a great receiver is available, I might take them, but none are available here. So I, I'm pretty sure we have to go for Shanu. 
It's too, too high to pass up on him. Now the New York Giants with their first pick here. I think Brock Bowers is the pick here just because Darren Waller, I think he retired. So having a guy like this on your team and on your offense is great. And then at 23, we can also snag a receiver. So yeah, Brock pa Bowers will be the pick there. Now we got number 12 with the Broncos. So we actually have a trade up. Philly is moving up to number 12. Denver back down to number 22. Philly needs defense bad. They lost to Son Reddick. We're going with Dallas Turner at pick number 12. With the Raiders at 13, they need offensive line bad. They also do need a quarterback, but I think they can snag one late in the first round if they try to trade up. So we're gonna go Fiaga there at number 13, and then at number 17, we have the Saints. And I believe the Saints are also in desperate need of offensive line, but instead of Fatanu, I think they go JC Latham. At number 15, the Colts need a cornerback desperately, and Teron Arnold is a great one here. I believe he will be the first cornerback taken off the board here at pick number 15 to the Colts. So I believe Seattle reaches a little bit here and takes a defense tackle. Johnny Newton will be the pick at number 16 for them. They need to bulk up that defensive line, and Johnny Newton just does that. Another great cornerback is available for the Jaguars, and they're going to take him here. I know they need a receiver, but this receiver class is very deep. So let's go cornerback Mitchell. Bengals will probably be getting rid of T. Higgins. Probably this draft, I believe. So Brian Thomas Jr. will be a great pickup for them on a cheap deal. And now the Rams are in play here. They lost Aaron Donald. So they lost a lot there on the defensive line with him retiring. So I believe they go the edge rush rusher Latu. I don't know how to say that name. But that's the pick here at number 19. Then this sets up perfectly for Pittsburgh. Fatanu falls all the way down to number 20 as they need offense tackle desperately. That's who they're gonna take with pick number 20, Fatanu from Washington going to Pittsburgh. I believe Miami will go defensive tackle here. Byron Murphy the second with the 21st pick. Bulking up that defense. I know they need offensive line, but again, offensive line goes deep in this class as well. I pick number 22, this might be interesting to a lot of people, but I believe the Denver Broncos will go Bo Nix at 22 and reach a little bit here to get their guy. They don't have any quarterbacks right now on the roster, so I believe they will go Bo Nix at the 22nd pick. And now we got the Giants here, number 23. This might be a bit of a reach here, picking someone 29th ranked at 23, but they need receiver desperately. And I think Keon Coleman will fill that need very well. So we'll take him there at number 23. And the Giants just got so much better on offense with Brock Bowers and Keon Coleman. And that's where Mims will go. He is perfect for them. He'll go at number 24 from Georgia. 25, the Packers. I believe Green Bay will go Nate Wiggins here, lining him up with Jair Alexander, one of the best cornerbacks in the game, building up that defense. Nate Wiggins, I've seen some tape. He is pretty good. And then we got the edge rusher, Chop Robinson, going to Tampa Bay. So the Cardinals pick again in the first round. They got Marvin Harrison Jr. already. Now it's time to look for somebody else. And I honestly believe Kool-Aid McKinstry is the pick here at cornerback. They got offense in the first round, and now they're getting defense in the first round as well. We move on to Buffalo. As they traded Stefan Diggs, and literally they don't have anyone at receiver right now. So we're just going best available. Mitchell to the Buffalo Bills. Detroit picking at pick number 29 here. I believe they go Darius Robinson here, a nice edge rusher for them, helping out Aiden Ruch Hutchinson, getting the pressure off of him, getting someone else coming on the side. But here we go. Now we got the Baltimore Ravens who need a receiver, offensive guard, edge, safety, and offensive tackle. I believe they're going to go offensive line here with their pick. They did pretty good on offensive line last season, ranking number 13 in the league, but they did lose a couple players on that offensive line like Morgan Moses. So, so go, we'll go with Jackson Powers Johnson here with pick number 30. And now the 49ers, pick number 31. I believe they're going to go Tyler Guyton helping out the offensive line that struggled in the Super Bowl. And now we move on to the last pick, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Super Bowl winners. I believe they need to go receiver. They lost, possibly they lost Rasheed Rice due to the situation he's in right now, but I believe they'll go Xavier Worthy right there. And that is it, man. So let's look at the full results. Here is my mock draft for 2024. Let me know which team you like and which team you got in this mock draft. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was a good mock draft for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.